Hi and welcome to another demo video regarding the Office OpenXML format. Today I'm going to talk about how to insert packages into a template. Um, I will use the template that we already created in earlier demos, so it's this quote of grouping template and if you remember what we did was showing up a list of, of the line items grouped by the subject, so we've got the bikes at the top followed by the components. Uh, basically we are providing two different ways to insert packages. The first one is to insert them from a file share and the path to the picture is saved within ZRM and the second one is to um, insert pictures that are saved as a node within ZRM directly. So let's take a look on how to insert pictures to allocate them a share. When taking a look into our quote and opening one of the products we can see that we've got a new um, attribute called the picture path that contains the path to the product picture on the file share. Um, it is very important that this path is accessible from each client that is creating the templates as we try to resolve this path when creating the document. So here we can see it's the Serum 4 server product pictures with all the pictures of the products. And all we have to do now is basically going to the position where we want to have the picture. And um, as we can see, it's called picture path in here. We just press insert mail image fields at the top, which brings up the task pane. Here we have to choose the relationship, so it's the quote product table. And we've got the attribute picture path. And the important thing is that we don't double click this time, but expand the drop down box and say insert as picture field. What happens now is that a new picture gets inserted containing a placeholder. So this MSRM add-ons picture is just a placeholder and we can now proceed and adjust the size we want the pictures to appear. As it's in a table it's recommended that all pictures do have the same size actually. Okay, that's it. We can um, save the template and have a try. So choose VM data, loading our quote, press OK. Yeah, it looks fine. So um, we now have each of those line items combined with a picture, so we've got the three bikes at the top, like the chopper style, and of course the wheel and the helmet and the component section. So as you can see, this is just a matter of choosing the attribute that contains the path to the picture and insert this attribute as a picture. Okay, so um, as mentioned, we provide another way to include pictures, which is from the nodes. And this is quite convenient as nearly all entities provide possibility to add nodes. So for example, under user form, I created a new um, custom entity called signature, which basically keeps nothing but a node containing the picture of our signature. Okay, so um, all we have to do within our quote is, is again, um, browse to the position where we want the picture to appear, choose the relationship where the path to the picture is resolved, so this gets the user, here we've got signatures followed by the regarding node. And the important thing is that when adding nodes, you will always have to use the ID field of the node. So it's called node in most cases. And again, insert as a picture field. Once this is done, again, we can see the um, placeholder and we can adjust the size. So it's a bit too large. So let's adopt the settings. Okay. Well, that's basically all we have to do. We can, again, save the template and have a try. So it was the bikes. Okay. Um, yeah, we do have the product pictures inserted still. And at the bottom, we can see that also the signature picture has been inserted at the end of the document. I think that's it. Uh, the best thing is, as always, to just have a try. Um, See you soon. Bye.